we compare the celebration of the V-Day in various countries, we see a huge difference between the majority of Europe, where they say about victims, about finding peace, about a new reality which came to life after the Second World War, and Russia, which is celebrating its soul victory. And it's actually forgetting about the victims, etc. It's like a carnival for them. And they are dressing themselves as Nazis, then they put those Nazis into cages with dogs. So this victorious hysteria, you know. And this is not by chance, because the idea of this victory in Russian interpretation is about the following. Today, the whole Europe and the whole world shall say thank you to Russia. This was the sacrifice of Russia only, and everybody owes this country. It has the right for its own um, geological policy, protection of its interests, because Russia deserved it. And in this regard, what's interesting? Well, you've heard about demolition of the uh, memorial to Konyev in the Prague, who really liberated Prague, though it was previously liberated uh, by a Vlasov uh, unit. But what is really stunning in all it, regardless of the fact that Marshal Konyev was also participating uh, in suppressing the Prague riot in 68, he is believed to be um, the one who brought a victory. And it is believed by Russians that uh, uh, those living in Prague and everybody from uh, Czech Republic shall memorize him uh, forever. Well, but we see other moods there. And uh, you know that Russia negates the two totalitarian regimes started the war. Well, it's a very interesting difference between the Soviet narrative and the Russian narrative. The current Russian narrative says that there was no real occupation. It was, they were forced to do so. And actually, after the, the territories which were seized were uh, included to the Soviet Union, this fact is not explained somehow by them. So we see the negation of all the memory, which is not very good, not very not comfortable uh, for the Russians. They are silent about secret protocols of Molotov-Ribbentrop's pact, etc. They are turning a blind eye to all that. And they are rewriting the Soviet period. And Stalin, of course, is displayed as a well-honored person because he was uh, the one who brought us to victory, or attempt to victory. And in Tver, uh, they've also demolished uh, some uh, memorials because uh, part of uh, Hotting um, victims were shot there, and they decided to negate that fact. They are actually taking all those plates with uh, names off. They were taken off quite recently because they said, well, we don't actually know whether it happened in the walls of these houses or no. And you know, the only memory they have is the great victory. Why do they need that? Of course, that's just uh, militarization, militarization of uh, the mind, of the consciousness. And uh, actually now we see the peak of uh, this militarization of the consciousness. And they are like joining all those dead and all those alive in this immortal regiment.